From historic Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts, MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go and getting the start for the Red Sox, Tanner Howe. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And Reading when he off, does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss, get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. And he deals. Mookie yeah. Betts leading things off and takes a strike. And the righty deals. And that one missing one low. That misses. Oh. Now two balls and a strike. Chris, one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. Well, pitchers know he can hit the outside pitch so well that now as a pitcher, you have to throw it off the plate away. And if he's got good plate discipline, you find yourself falling behind in the good count hit. and walking batters. Two balls, two strikes. At the belt and fires. And he grounds one back up the middle. Slings to first, and Betts is set down. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Max Muncy. Well, Boog, he's had a huge impact in this series. I mean, six RBIs already. He's really raised the bar for himself. Now, they're not just hoping, but they're expecting more of the same from him. And since we're lucky enough to be calling this game, so am I. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ground ball right side. Lays out. He's got it. Gathers and throws. And they get the out. Oh, that is such a tough play, but these guys make it look easy. They slow the game down. That diving stop right there, it's only part of the equation. Then you got to collect yourself, get up, make a good throw, and you got to get it there in time. That's the toughest part, especially when it's got to be on the money. Two outs, base is empty. David Peralta at the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two down, nobody on. 
Swings through that. One and one. That one to first. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. He keeps his composure, and they get the out. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here at Fenway. And starting in this one, number 71. What's the word on him? Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Here's Alex Verdugo. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's too high. The 1-0. Well. Yeah, that's outside. Leo. in there at the knees towards first and Freeman the gold glover makes the play and Verdugo is set down time now to check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox this is an offense Chris that's having a hard time scoring runs right now yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Here's Justin Turner. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. Batting third, no left fielder. Adam Duvall Adam. at the plate. This is another Duvall. guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. First offering, the misses the mark. Singy, Adam Duvall's a guy that's had a nice career, but 2021, the year that was kind of the signature year in his resume. Turner, at first, one gone. The next pitch misses, the and the count is 2-0. Oh. Well, most importantly, a World Series champion with the Atlanta Braves, first inning World Series Grand Slam, the swing he will never forget. Next one is off the play, ball three. Duvall split that season between Miami and Atlanta in 21, ended up winning the gold glove, and he led the National League and runs batted in. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Duvall, a swing and a deep drive. Left field, into the monster seats and gone. This place is absolutely loving it. His 17th of the year. The Red Sox score first, it's 2-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. He don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Now batting Tristan Casas. First pitch, and he just misses. The wind of the pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Outman makes the grab on the run. 
Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Rolled over to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Red Sox already leading. Next one that misses, miss, ball. ball one. One and one. And that one is one. inside. The pitch. Way out front for strike two. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two runs for Boston on the home run. And it's two zip. It's Back in Boston, top of the second. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Max Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. How back to work. Misses oh. outside, and that's ball one. Oh, that one catches the corner for a strike. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Swings over the top of that one. And now the count is even. Left hand batter waits. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. And that is gone. His 31st home run of the season, and they've got their first run. It's 2 1. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Here's Jason Hayward. Slapped foul. Oh, he's got it deleted. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. And it's even up. Oh, that's outside. Next offering misses down and away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Abreu going back. Back some more. It bangs off the wall. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run.
I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That pitch came off the bat really well in the center field, and he clearly put a nice swing on it. And anytime you can get one to drop in out there, you know you stung it pretty good because it seems like center fielders these days, to a man, these guys can run down just about everything, hit their way. James Outman stands in now and watches strike one. Righty delivers. That misses the zone. One and one. One and one. No outs. Runner on second. Pitches outside. It's a good take. Two two now. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Hayward coming home. He'll score. And the Dodger is even it up. It's two two. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Michael Bush steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that's in there for strike one. No ball, one strike. In the air, left side. Duvall in position. And there's one down. Again. The shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas at the play. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. In there at the knees for a strike. Kicks and deals. Outside, ball. Outman over at second, one down. Got him looking. And there's two down. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Now the batter now, Austin no, Barnes. in the right field base hit and they hold him at third 90 feet away with two out everything came together for him really good swing right there he got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws here's Mookie now rounded out his first time up and that one fouled off he gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that scoreboard. Two on, two outs. Hard liner. And it's into the gap. One runs in. Around third. Relay throw. The tag out. That ends the inning, but they do pick up a run on the play. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Dodgers three and the Red Sox two. 
Back here at Fenway, we head to the bottom of the second, and the batter now, Pablo Reyes. The right-hander back to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. And the 1 0. -oh. And that one a little bit high. That misses the zone. And that's ball three. Well, you know. There's the strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Check swing at a 3-2. Appeal down to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. And here's the rookie center fielder, Willier Abreu. at the knees for a strike. One down, base is empty. Hammered, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. The throw in, not gonna get him, he's in there. He was all over that one. This is why hitters work so hard on driving the ball gap to gap in batting practice. There's a lot of room out there. If you can rip one into that open space, it usually means extra bases. One out, runner at second. And now Connor Wong. And the first ball, offering is not close. Runner at second here, one gone. Nice, easy stroke. Let's go. Next offering is in for a strike. One, one. They tried to get That's him to chase on a slider down and away. Two balls, one strike. Next pitch misses, oh, oh. and a count is three and one. Move to second, Abreu back on a dive. One out, and a runner at second. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Batting none. The third baseman. Here's Luis Arias. Poquita de corazón, me tienes enamorado, me tienes enamorado. Ay, poquita de corazón, poquita de corazón, me tienes enamorado. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Runners at first and second with one gone.
Next pitch misses way outside. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Roll to short, possible two ball. To second, there's one, and that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. All set for the start of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. And base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right okay. there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now the left fielder, David Peralta. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. On the ground. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. On the second, they get one to first. Not in time. Great effort there. Here comes Max Muncy. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Pitch in the dirt, and it's Juan to know. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in a scoring position. Next pitch misses inside. Three and O. Oh. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Here's a 3 0. And he walked him. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part now of his back. career since day one. So, first and second with one man gone, Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that one wrapped foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Here comes the 0-1. And a foul ball. The next offering misses. And a count one and two. Ground ball, base knock. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. And here is James Outman. No, that down. one misses, and that is ball one. And a pitch. And another ball. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2 and 0 to count. Here it comes. Just off the outside part of the plate. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Josh Winkowski, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. is ball four and that'll bring home a run he's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall this inning's definitely getting away from him so base is loaded with one away and now michael bush 0 for one with a fly out in there and it's on one tough situation right here so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there 
You'll want. Slider clips the zone. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Caught looking his first time up. Out towards right center field. Abreu settles underneath it and makes the play, and that's out number three. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Dodgers four and the Red Sox two. Back here at Fenway Park. Leading now off. here is Alex Sox. Verdugo. The right fielder. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Verdugo, former second round pick by the Dodgers back in 2014. And Chris, I think one of the things that people always focus on with him, he was the centerpiece to that Mookie Betts trade between the Dodgers and the Red Sox. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Justin Turner now singled and scored his first time. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Yeah, and many people would say that's a ton of pressure to go into a place like Boston with those shoes to fill. And you know what? He went in there saying he was going to be himself and put up some pretty good numbers. Line drive and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center. That's one of those Adam balls you just have to live with as a hitter. Adam Duvall up next for the Red Sox. He's already homered in this one. Ball, that's high. And that is cut on and missed. That's strike two. Hard hit left side. Throw on to Freeman. That's the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Still down by a count of four to two. Here in Boston, out of the fourth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Austin Barnes. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. And he's down 0-2 as okay. he swings through it. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation, even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. Here's Mookie now. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Swing and a ball popped up. That's a base hit. The first base hit, number five. Oh, back in trouble, Boo. I mean, it's just been like this for him most of the game. They've been all over him since his first pitch, and I think he's got a very short leash right now. Really needs to lock it down here. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. He's going, the he's kick going, and the pitch. Going. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw safe. That's a stolen base. 
Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully move that runner up to scoring position. Good job. And the pitch. Bats, the runner at second with one away. And the next pitch is way outside. Look out! You hit him. And it hit him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Now, Boog, that wasn't even close. You know, sometimes a guy will barely miss the zone and hit someone, but right there, he completely lost the handle, and that's when it gets a little scary. Peralta up to bat next lays off for a ball. Two balls no strikes the count. Good spot for the hitter definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. One out runners at first and second. Swung on belted. Abreu on the move racing back. Back some more on the warning track and hauls it in. Runner tags and will move up to third. Look how far he had to go that time. What an amazing catch. He believes that he can get to everything, and that attitude allows the speed to play in well enough for him to run down balls that guys would just play off the hop. And now it's Max Muncy. First pitch, not close. And here it comes. And that's down and away. Well, knowing that. This hitter's got holes in his swing. Because he's got so much power, pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. Oh, he botches it. Force it second, and they get the out. Stayed with it nicely. Dodgers strand a couple, but they still lead this one four to two. Now at Fenway, bottom of the awesome. inning. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Tristan Casas. The pitch. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. In the air, right field. Hayward pulls that one down, and there's one down. The batter number 10. Here's Trevor Story now. Struck out swinging his first time. We always talk about connections, kids growing up with one another. Trevor Story grew up playing in Texas on the same travel ball team as Josh Bell. Next offering is in for a strike. And a good eye there. Oh. what? Flips the corner. Two balls, two strikes. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Gets a piece, and stays alive. Two-two now. 
Out to short. Roll save. And that was close. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. One down. Pablo Reyes up next for the Red Sox. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Story on the move. Out front, rip foul. Pickoff move to first. No, Story great. back in on a dive. Another move to first. Hey. And he's back again. Again to first. Hey. And again, he's back safely. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. Softly hit to third. Muncie sends it to first. He's out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Here's the center fielder, Willier Abreu, doubled in his first A.B. That misses, and that's ball one. Story on its second with two down. And now two and nothing. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Runner leads away at second. That one outside. And that's ball three. Connor Wong on deck for Boston. Runner at second, two down. In for a strike, now three and one. Three and one. In the air, left field, down the line, and it's just foul. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. That fires up the home crowd, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-4. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Worked to walk at his first trip to the plate. Pitch misses. Ball. ball one. 1 0. Tied at four. That one no missed. Ball.
In the air, right field. Hayward glides to his left. Pulls it in on the run. And that's the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. All even now at four apiece. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward. You know, Singy, they talk about Red Sox nation, but there is something to that because the Boston Red Sox aren't just about Boston or Massachusetts. It's that whole New England area. So you're talking about Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Northern Connecticut. There's a whole segment of the country that is locked in on the Boston Red Sox pitch to pitch throughout the summer. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one hammered. And it's off the wall. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Red Sox bullpen. Tanner Hout will depart, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. Josh Winkowski on a pitch out of the pen here. He's been so good against lefties. Go ahead, run on base, and stepping in is the speedy James Outman. In there for strike one. There goes Hayward. Swing and a miss. Throw to second, tag, and they got him. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Next pitch is outside. Now one and two. Out. Checks his swing. Appeal to third. Didn't go. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. And a pitch. And it's filled up. Got a full count. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Got him looking for the K. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Michael Bush steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Pumps it a strike. Ah. That one finds a corner. And it's one and two. Right 
Line drive. He's got it. And that is out number three to the bottom of the fifth. Halfway home. All even at four. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Joe so stepping in for Boston, Luis Urias. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. First offering, and it just misses. That one ripped, but foul. The 1-1. One, one. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next to hit, Alex Verdugo. Ball, Kicks and fires. Ball. Strike on the inside corner. Pitch misses inside. And now three balls and a strike. And that one sliced foul. And a 3-2. Bounced up the middle. Bush. Gets it to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Turner climbs in on that right side. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. And takes low for ball one. On the ground, out to short. Rojas with the throw to first. And that is the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. This game's all tied at four. Back here in Boston. All set for the top of the sixth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. Winkowski back to work. And that oh, one is inside ball one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Chris Martin getting loose out there. Pavetta warming up as well. Righty to the plate. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Go ahead, run on base. And here's the catcher, Austin Barnes. And strike one to the catcher. Oh, this is a case of just slowing the game down. Sometimes you get so concerned with getting the job done, you forget that you still have to get a good pitch to do the job with. Punting, but that's a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Way to lay off that pitch down. Nobody out. Runner at first.
That one a little bit high, and the count's even at two. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. The next pitch misses. Full count, three and two. Mookie Betts waits on deck. Three, two now. Good plate oh, appearance boy. there. Able to take the walk. That one hurts right there as they couldn't take care of the bottom of the order to start this inning. You turn the lineup over. Now this inning's set up to be something big for this offense. Here's Mookie Betts. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Grounder might be two. One at second. Relay to first, double play. So two down now, and here is Freddie Freeman. Hammered on the line, base hit. In comes the runner from third, 5-4 now as they take the lead. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Two outs, runner on first. Here's the left fielder, David Peralta. There's the strike. you will one. And yeah, that's outside. Freeman off of first with two away. Right side. And it's through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Max Muncy at the dish. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Check swing, and he held up. Next pitch is outside. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. 3-1 now. And there's the strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. First and second, two down. Got him swinging. So, one run in the inning on this base hit. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Rustar Grotterol. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And next for the Red Sox, Adam Duvall. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. 
the pitch. And downstairs. Oh. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Alex Vesia looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. And the right hander deals. And there's a foul ball. And now two and one. Right handed reliever. And it's fouled away. At the belt and fires. Swing and a pop up. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Here's the throw. Save! Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. And ball one. Second, nobody out. Jack swing, went around. One and two. Red Sox with a chance to tie it up. Fouls it off, still one and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. And here's a 3-2. And ball four to a board. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Story in the box now. Take strike one. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Strike on the inside corner. 0-2. Righty delivers. Fights it off. He'll see another. It misses. It's a strikeout. I well, we see it more commonly in the sport these days, but yeah, man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. Pablo Reyes stands in. First pitch just misses. And 
And there's the strike. One on one. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. One and two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. You no, know, we used to say, if you're scared, get a dog. Go the fastball, man. If you're scared, get a dog, man. Just get a dog. And the righty deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. New arm out of the bullpen, Ryan Yarbrough. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Number 55. And now the center fielder, Willier Abreu. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. First pitch, and he just misses. Good eye right there. Well, he's been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. And now the lefty. Connor Wong waiting for a turn at the plate. They're all loaded up. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way out. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Bounce to the left side, and it's just foul. That was close. Hold it one now. That clips the corner. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. That one misses. Now one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. One, two now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The one two swing and this ball is hammered no doubt about it out of here grand slam his ninth homer of the year and now they're out front it's eight five listen to these fans this place is absolutely buzzing right now you can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth Orius up next for the Red Sox. On the ground to third. 
Throw on to Freeman. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. Boston picks up four on the Grand Slam. It's now an 8-5 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Nick Pavetta. He last pitched two days ago. And now it's going to be Jason Hayward. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. He was late there, strike one. Oh, Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The wind of the pitch. That clips the corner. Next one misses, two and two. Two, two. Left-hand batter waits. And now the count filled up three and two. But why the kick the pitch? Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. In the air to left center, Abreu settles underneath it. He's got it, and there's one away. Now batting the center fielder. And next James. for L.A., James Outman. First pitch That's doesn't find the zone. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. That one off oh. the mark. And yeah, that's ball two. 2-0. Two oh. And he deals. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's two and one. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. It's ball Off four. Ball. He missed Take down low. Pretty good pitch on three two right around the knees, but up just no one, help Bob. from the umpire. The second base and up next for Los Michael. Angeles, Michael Bush. Oh, no. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from right, first, it feels like it's really important to getting back no into this ball game. Outman leads off first with one away. Check on the runner, and he's back in safely. The 0-1. Fought off foul.
Goes down looking. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Now it's the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. Strike in there, throw safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. And the 0-2. Started after it. Appeal to first. Did not go. And a 1-2. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. So the Dodgers leave one. Still looking up at an 8-5 deficit. Back here at Fenway, set for the last half of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. There's a strike. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. That's ripped. Base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Gus Marlow comes on now. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. So, man aboard. So now Turner in on that right side. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Looked like it was a little bit up. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Here's a 2-1. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Comes a 2-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two right, two now. Down the left field line, base hit. Verdugo around third. He scores, and they lead by four. I love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Adam Duvall up next for the Red Sox. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Yeah. There's the strike.
And a pitch. That one hammered center field. That's got a chance. And that one is off the top of the wall. The run scores all the way from first. It's now 10 to 5. Play at the plate, and he's out. He tried for the inside, the Parker, and he couldn't make it. Now it's going to be Tristan Casas. Ball one, no strikes. One and oh. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. One, one. Still only one out here in the inning. One Once one again. check swing appeal down to third. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. In there at the knees. It's two and two. And now it's filled up. Down is full. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Stays alive. Struck him out looking. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone now right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was some fun at bat to watch. Story, ball. the next to hit, takes ball one. One out. The one one. They say it went. One and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So two runs in the inning, three hits, no errors, and no one left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Red Sox 10 and the Dodgers 5. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Chris Martin. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Number 55, now the catcher up to hit, Austin Barnes. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. You'll one. That's a laser base hit. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Here's Mookie to hit. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And that's something that this guy does really well. Gets in sync with his pitchers. Fouled off. He was late. Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's so buried in that video room, it's hard to get a chance to talk to him. 
Next offering upstairs. One, Barnes stands at second with no outs. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy yeah. always seems to deliver in those spots. Here's your one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. And the pitch. That's the ball. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, one then you're really great. not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Kicks and deals. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And yes, he offered at it. So up next, David Peralta. First offering misses the mark. When you played, did you play with guys that you thought were clutch and sort of what were the attributes you said that's what he possesses that allows him to come through? Well, we always used to joke, you know, guys want to eat steak, and there were some that just had a knack, could understand that, all right, this is a, a big, you know, payout if I can come through with a knock here. But I think when you really look at the numbers, you really audit everything, guys kind of are who they are. Left-hand hitter waits. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Barnes around third. Throw home, not in time to run scores. It's 10-6. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So two down. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And out of here. He deposits that one into the monster seats. So he blasts one out the other way. And they cut into the deficit. It's 10-8. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Kenley on here. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Base is empty with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. Sliced hard but foul. The 1-1. One, one. Good eye right there. Remember when Kenley got a chance to play in the World Baseball Classic as a catcher for the Netherlands in 2009? And you think now he wears number 74 because that is his house number in Curacao. Next pitch has popped up. Story settles under this one. And that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's down to two at 10-8 now. You're dialed into the show.
Bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for Boston, Pablo Reyes. The second baseman. The pitch. In there at the knees. That's strike one. And that clips the inside corner. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. No, that's out. That's oh, off the huh? mark. It's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. A brand yeah. new batting with one down takes a strike. Check swing oh. didn't go. And the count even one and one. one, one. The pitch. Rips that one center field. And he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. And the first pitch ball. misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Abreu leads off first with one away. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive to short and caught. Now batting, the third baseman, Luis Urias. So digging in, Luis Urias. Poquita de corazón, me tienes enamorado, me tienes enamorado, ay poquita de corazón. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That's the ball. There's the ball. Safe at second with a stolen base. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. Two outs and one in scoring position. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. They're now two oh. balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. That's to third. Throws the first, inning over. And the Red Sox leave one. They lead it, though. It's 10-8. And we're back here at Fenway Park. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the center fielder, James Outman.
and here it comes. Kenley Jansen's That's been one of the best okay. closers we've seen over the course of the past decade. Chris, he's moved into the top 10 all time in saves. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Kenley is also the Dodgers all time saves leader with an even 350. Next pitch oh. inside two and one. Right hander kicks deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Caught him looking for the K. Michael Bush, the next to hit. Jansen goes six feet five inches, 35 years old, and he's a native of Curacao. And a foul ball. Now the one. Ball one there. That missed. That's a ball. One ball, one strike. It's a one to one. Two and one. Strike two. Right-handed reliever. That's out to center field. Abreu under this one. And he makes the catch. Two away. Now at the plate, Miguel Rojas. Pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball one. That's through there for a strike. Ball to strike. That one ripped. And that's a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The tag, and that's the ball game. Well, someone from the bullpen had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win for his team. And this one ends the final 10-8. Kenley Jansen picking up the save for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.
10 runs on 11 hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For the Dodgers, eight runs on 16 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 59 minutes. Our Fenway Park paid attendance this afternoon, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.